Hello everyone and welcome to another video from the chess guy. Today I'm going to show you a trap for white starting off with d4 d5. Anyway before you watch this video I'm giving out shout outs to my subscribers so don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and comment so I know if you've subscribed and I'll end to you. So for every video I'll show. So basically, you, then you play c4, turning into the queen's gambit. And then you play knight c3. I did, in theory, I don't really like this move. Because if you take, if the queen takes and then knight c3, the queen will be forced to move somewhere. So like, if the queen goes back to there, you'll be ahead in the advantage. Sorry, ahead in the development. If the knight takes, which is what it does in the trap, you then play e4. Obviously, these pawns are very strong together because they're center pawns, and then it's attacking this knight. In this trap, the knight goes back to f6, threatening to take this pawn. This might look like a world move, but for white, you play bishop d3, offering the pawn on d4. Obviously, now the knight can't take, because then you'll take with the bishop. So, in this trap, if, if you're thinking of taking the pawn, because you'll just win a free pawn, think again. If you take bishop b5, boom. You're threatening to take the queen as well as giving a check. The black, black must move the king or defend against the check. So let's say uh, the best move, I guess, for black is to play to go back to d7. But then after that, the bishop takes on d7, you'll be winning by a queen. So basically, you're going to win the game. Anyway. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. So, because I'll be giving out, so I'll be giving shout-outs for each of my videos. And thank you. Bye.